Twice a year, the rain repeats. This time, it's for days. A rain that won't relent, except when the winds lay it down in sheets. Still, in the compass of squalls and sash, as if through a sieve or gauze or screen, loom shapes of leviathans, of tridents poised on bearded waves, of masts, perhaps, at sea. Aftermath. Silt and debris. The guidebook states, a saguaro absorbs 200 gallons or more in the wake of a summer cloudburst, creates, in effect, its own natural reservoir for the dry season to come. It's a marvel of physics. The husk under the outer skin expands into honeycomb, forms a spongy cortex that fortifies the shaft from tip to sand. Odd then, the lack of outward signs, no spurt in height, no visible pulse or bloat, no topologic cue from the swelling inside, like girth derived from volume by the root, or were things missed? Folds that slowly inflate, ribs imperceptibly stretching their scale, while a green, elastic fantasy fabricates corduroy sheaths of a wider whale. Forked and forged out of sand, and the sands decree that all shall bend to drought and thirst. The saguaros seem unmoved, unbent, sentries on a desert slope, towering over the pursed and stunted tufts of bursage and creosote. Each begins as a ball, a bud of the earth's crust, with curved corrugations to replicate lines of a globe, and, as if to mark meridian and equator, stellate spines convene in rows, evoke an urchin on its shoal. That is, until later, when the sphere becomes pure longitude, its ridges rising to where, in a nod to Mercator, they converge at the pole. Why then? The crude caricatures, the cliched cartoons on brothels, motel signs, even the menu at El Charo sketched in sombrero and pantaloons. To these indignities, to a culture weaned on the prickly pranks of Looney Tunes, the great stoic totems of the desert offer only silence across the Sonoran. They are as hands, gentle fluted fingers pointing skyward. An image aching to form out of heat waves and pixels of sand. The outstretched arms, that grace those thorns. Peony, why Gila, Tulip and Cherry can't wait to add their little ids to the potpourri of pinks and reds, dancing their dance of debauchery. Not so the saguaros, which brood without issue for 50 years project an air of forbearance as they bear their lack of water, the weight of the sun, and the woodpecker holes punched out like hollow wounds, yet anchored there, distill from sand, from wind and glare, this seminal inflorescence, but only at night in crystalline air, and only at the snowy summit 
where the snow resolves into moon flowers, and ovoid motes of pollen drift, like the notes of an atonal nocturne tuned to the night's pitch and solo moon. Veiled luminaries, a really of milk-white blooms, their petals spread and coalesce and bathe in a lunar mist, fluoresce, arboreal, all aura and borealis, opening, opening to breathe, express these streams of light and yes, oh yes, oh yes. <laughs>